So Gregory, we know that LinkedIn is a professional networking place. That's how we met. Uh, and you're posting something or you make a comment and reach out to you. Now we're doing this interview. But for those people, international people or new immigrants, they don't know how to use LinkedIn. And I know that you post daily there and very great content. So what tips do you have to people to start using LinkedIn for branding themselves, making them thoughtful leaders? When, yeah. So when you're applying for a job, the recruiter will check their LinkedIn and they'll say, oh, I'd like to speak with this person. Yeah. So the first step would be to join conversations. Mm -hmm. Any great leader will tell you that the first few days, few weeks, few months, depending on the role in a new position, the best thing you can do is listen. Yeah. Not go in and start changing things. Well, if we apply that thinking to LinkedIn, if you just want to start to build your brand, the best thing you can do is find other conversations that are already happening where you have something to say yeah. and join the conversation, comment, yeah. like other people's posts, get involved. And once you start finding your tribe, through the likes and the comments that you're creating, that you're that you're doing on the platform, then you'll start to say, you know, there's a per, there, there's a perspective I think that's missing from yeah. these conversations. The hardest part then, Meher, is to post. Yes, because to we're posting. oh my goodness, we're second guessing everything. Oh, people aren't going to like this, and so we wait until we have the perfect post. But here's a secret: there's no such there's thing no as perfect. the perfect post. No, no. The only way to get good is to be bad. Yeah. One of my right. idols, one of my idols in music, Billy Joel, one of the best entertainers and piano players in the world, at one point in his life was really bad at the piano, mm. but he kept playing yeah. and he kept putting music out there. And that's how you get good is by being okay with being bad. Yeah. Playing makes perfect and starts small. You know, you don't have to write full paragraphs, maybe two lines, three lines or share ideas, or, uh, or share a summary of an article you read. This is the summary. I've seen some mm -hmm. people that, and then find what medium works for you. Some people like to do videos. Some people like to write. Some people like to small comments. And then maybe take a snapshot of your comment and post it. And, and then don't get be uh, scared or... Uh, how, how, how many people will like, how many shares? You start from somewhere and it will take kind of a muscle. And as you mentioned, practice daily and it, it will get there, but you have to start from somewhere. Yeah. And there's also something to be said for the fact that many people are, are waiting to engage with your content. What I mean is just because they're not engaging right away, mm -hmm. you know, if you think about technology, you've got early adopters and then sort of middle market adoption yes. and then mass adoption. And it follows kind of a bell curve, yeah? Yes. So as you start posting, only a few people are gonna like and comment on it. Maybe it's your mom. I mean, that was the person who liked and commented on most of my stuff when <laughs> I first started. You know, maybe it's someone else, but yeah. if you keep doing it consistently, you'll hit that point in the bell curve where more and more people start to engage with your post because yeah. they feel like they know what you're about. They understand your voice. Yes. So don't give up if at first you don't get a lot of interaction. Keep yeah. going. Keep going. Thank you for that great tip, Gregory. Again, for the audience, if you have any other tips, leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Gregory. Gregory.